Well, hello everybody, Mr. O here, and today we're going to talk about the setup. The project or the prompt is going to be ink wash. And what I did is I saw a coloring book page with a skull with an open mouth, so I used that as my inspiration. I thought I might have that handy and I forgot to pull that out, just so you saw where I originally uh, got it from. And I want to do something artistic with the skull. Um, so the project is going to be skulls. And uh, before I do inking or the ink wash, um, I'm going to, uh, you know, draw it out, get my idea, sketch it, and then I'm going to go to the final paper. Uh, the final paper is going to be 11 by 14 Bristol board is what we're using. And... Uh, we're going to do dip pen, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the dip pen. Um, I know I've done a previous project, so I'm not going to talk too much. Um, after we draw the skull, um, as you can see, I opened the jaw up, and because I wasn't actually planning on it, I kind of made you see much more erasing. And then I added a raven into its mouth. And because it was added after the fact, so I didn't really practice sketching, I made more mistakes. And that's okay. Don't worry about that. And um, uh, now, oh, I should talk about the eyes. I know where I got the eye idea from. Uh, there was a Sam Raimi movie called The Evil Dead Movies uh, with uh, uh, Bruce Campbell. And that that movie poster, I think it was Evil Dead 2, kind of always stuck with me with the eyeballs looking out of the skull. Uh, so that's why I put the eyeballs there. I thought this picture would look really great for an ink wash. And um, so ink wash is going to be where I'm going to basically water down the ink to get variations of gray. And it's going to basically allow me to do value. Um, and it, it doesn't take away from like if I want to uh, do some stippling and stuff like that. But what I want to do before I ink, um, no matter what I'm going to do, I do want to lighten up my uh, uh, picture. And you guys have been seeing that I've been rolling um, my kneaded eraser quite a bit um, over my pictures of late. Um, because I've been drawing them dark, just so you guys can see. And I think before I actually do the ink wash, I'm going to basically uh, just ink an outline. Um, and uh, you can see how dirty this has gotten. Uh, and then of course, I'll just stretch the kneaded eraser. Now, what if you don't have a kneaded eraser? Does any eraser work? Just be light, don't, don't like press too hard into it. Um, don't sweat that. And I'm not gonna make this too light because when you're dealing with inking, uh, the mo mostly I want to get rid of where I did make mistakes. Uh, so that will be where I focus a little bit. But as I ink, um, I'm going to do the ink pen. And I'm just going to do an outline of stuff. Because, believe it or not, it's actually been probably over 15 years since I've done an ink wash. So instead of practicing and looking like how easy this is, I'm more likely to make a mistake in the next video and I want you to see that. Um, and if I don't make a mistake, it's just because I've had the experience of you know going with layers um, and I'll explain how I'm gonna do the ink wash and then I'm gonna go back in with the ink pen and you know get in all the work and then when I, do, my final part will be no water, just pure black ink um, and you can kind of guess, you can see a couple X's. That's definitely areas I'm gonna do pure black ink. Um, and I haven't decided how I'm gonna handle the background just yet with the Raven. Um, but see, you guys can go through that process with me. Cause just like you, uh, all we have our grand plans and then we just make adjustments as we go, as we get better ideas. Um, and, or we want to make something a little more complicated. It's only when we try to take the easy route that things uh, get worse um, and we don't learn anything. So guys, um, you guys, what I want you to do is just figure out how to, one, start drawing skulls, two, put, it, put them in poses, uh, change the angles, 
find, uh, do something. Does it have to be a complete skull? No, I could have done this without the jaw and just had the whole raven like coming at us and, and spread. There's lots of ideas, um, adding cracks. As you can see, I put feathers coming out of the skull. I know I wanted a crack. I don't know. I always like to put cracks in my skulls. Um, but I just had the idea of a feather coming up through. So there's something more connected to the raven. And I'll do a better job of making that uh, look a little better. Um, guys, that's, that's all for part one. Uh, part two might come in uh, a day or it might come in later next week. So look forward to that so you can actually see what ink wash is all about. <coughs> Excuse me there. I was trying to hold that in. Couldn't do it. I didn't make it. So you guys, you are amazing. All right. I better go cough up uh, stuff. So <laughs> you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.